please welcome to Miss Kathy's Talks, where we'll have a quick little Bible lesson. We will also have a verse of the day brought by Chester, my dog, and a joke of the day brought by Opie the cat, as well as we'll spin the wheel. As you can see, I'm in my house right now. So welcome to my house. Well, anyway, this week's going to be a little bit different than the talks last week. We are going to be talking this week about the cool animals God has put in our world. Only our creator God could design some of the interesting creatures that we will be learning about. So today, let me introduce you to, and I have a drawing right here, actually made by my sister. This is, can anybody guess? There's a hint over here. Uh-huh. Some of you are thinking frog, and you're right, but a special kind of frog. I heard some of you say it. It's the poison arrow dart frog. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, let me tell you a little bit about it. Well, first of all, you can't find those kinds of frogs anywhere here in the United States where we live. In fact, you can only find them in, I believe it is, Central and South America. And also, if you do happen to find them in exotic pet shops, they won't be poisonous because they only get poison in them from what they eat. And so whoever's raising those frogs to be sold at a pet store are not feeding them with anything with any poison in them. So there are over 240 different kinds or species of frogs and of poison arrow dart frogs. And the most poisonous of all is the golden poison arrow frog. Mm -hmm. You're going to get to have a look at it a little bit later. Well, they're very bright colored as the example here. And the reason why they have their names is because people who live in the forests in Central and South America where these frogs are found can use them, get the poison from the frogs. I don't know how they do it. We might need to Google that. Put it on the tips. And if they're out hunting, they have these blow darts and they'll put them in and go and this arrow will shoot out and the poison that's in the end will kill whatever creature they're hunting. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool. You don't see that every day, for sure. Well, they're also a little bit different than regular frogs. So if you've ever held a regular frog, their feet are kind of webbed. But this frog, I don't know if you can notice it from the drawing. I think, yes, perfect. These actually have little toe pads. Okay, they're not webbed, so they're not very good swimmers. Okay, um, they don't have webbed feet like regular frogs. And they're not like tree frogs who have little suction cups either. So they're, they're quite a bit different. And so um, I have a really special video that I want you to look at when we're done today. And uh, your parents will find that link right here on this page. And it takes you to a website called Answers in Genesis, where you will get to see all kinds of poison arrow frogs in an exhibit, and you will get to hear more and more information about them. So, right now, we are going to have a quick prayer, okay? Dear God, boy, whenever I learn about another creature, I realize that you're the only one that can create something so unique. Thank you for all that you have given us and thank you for um, keeping us safe. In Jesus name, amen. All right, now you know what time it is? It is time for our verse of the day. So I need my old pet Chester to come on in and bring today's verse. Come here Chester, come here Chessie. A verse for the kids today? You sure do. Thank you. Sit right there. Oh, good boy. 
Oh, this is from the book of Genesis. This is a great verse. Chapter 1, verse 25. God made the wild animals according to their kinds, the livestock according to their kinds, and all the creatures that move along the ground according to their kinds. And God saw that it was good. That's a perfect verse for today. Chester, how do you know these things? Wow. Now it's time for a visit from my cat, Opie. Opie, do you have a joke for the day? Come here, Opie. Come here. Come here, Opie. Come here. Come here, sweetie. Come here, kitty. Come here. Here. We need a little treat. Oh, thank you, Annie. Okay. Well, Opie, say hi to the kids. Whoop. Well, say hi to the kids. Thank you for your joke today. It's usually about cats, but not today. How did you know, Opie? We're talking about frogs today. Listen to this joke. What are a toad's favorite drink? Anybody? An ice cold Coca Cola. <laughs> That's a Good one. Thank you, Opie. A nice cold croak a cola. Ribbit. Ribbit. Alrighty. Now, our final thing to do is to spin the wheel. Now, today our numbers mean something a little bit different. If we spin a one, two, three, a seven, eight, nine, or a thirteen, fourteen, or fifteen, it's gonna be thrill of victory, Woo, where we just get excited, but we don't get anything. But we're okay, because we're good sports. If I spin a four, five, or six, I'm gonna pull out one cross kid girl, and they will get a special present delivered to their door. If I spin a 10, 11, and 12, I will pull out a cross kid boy and they will get a present delivered to their door. And if I spend a 16, 17, or 18, <gasps> then it's going to be one cross kid boy and one cross kid girl. You ready? Okay, here we go. Four. Cross kid girl! All right, bring me over my bucket of all the girls' names. If you've been to Carlinville, Haddock, or Staunton Campus, here we go. And so many names in there. Kenzie Hulk! You will get something special. I'll be in contact with your mom soon. Thanks, kids. I'll see you tomorrow when we're going to learn about another cool animal. And don't forget to check out the link on this page so you can see more poison arrow dart frogs. Bye!